to get to this position. So that second, he just bring me close. Yeah, that's it. Same thing for you guys. For if somebody pays your guard, what you do? Just bring him close. Because what I what I need to do when I want to pass my uh, pull my leg out, I need space. You see it? Like this, I'm done. Okay. But what, so what we do is not to uh, not to not to get in danger to get the leg caught. So what I do, I I work with the knees. Okay. Uh, try to try to. Uh, this is okay. So let's say let's say he's this way. Okay, take a look this way. Now check it out. I feel this like here. See? It? You have to make. You have to feel which is your uh, way. Okay. So just just really you're really helping me when you when you resist. So see right now he he, he already he already blocking this one. Hop! Oh, I'm getting here. He helped me. With, he automatically, naturally, he's already, he didn't give me any more chance. He pulled his knee a little bit farther so I cannot go. So you have to, you have to feel which way, okay? Also, put, put legs together and right away I have to go uh, back little because most of these people will, will, will try to catch you like this. But that's why I'm here because I spread out and I go this way. Very, very effective. I, I can catch most people. Most people, when I get to this position, and we really, at first I, I, I do like, I, I, I'm ready for reaction. Okay? So let's say in this way, maybe I can get this one together. Get me. Okay? It's really, <coughs> really up to your feeling. Let's, let's uh, thank you, Josh. Let's, let's come. Because each player gives you different position. Okay? Different. Different, so let's, you know what I'm gonna do, right? So, so uh, try to, I, I get the block. See it? And I got it. He knows what I'm gonna do. Still, very important is to be confident I can make it, okay? Shoot your legs back because that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna try to reach. I have to get out of here. This one is not really a uh, bad one because I think I can pull my body up. Put those knees together. You just get, get it ready. So let's try, let's try. Really, every player is different. Everybody will do something else. Most important is, let's come, come again. When you, let's say, uh, when I get here, and let's say I'm passing that second, okay? I keep those legs and I'm trying to control. I, I don't let go and suddenly go here because it push you away. You need to keep control those legs. If you have time, you can get you with one hand this way, big advantage. But mostly, I don't have time. I come here. And now, most they will turn. So I, I let go one arm, and I get something. Okay, so let's try, let's play. Any questions? If, if, uh, sometimes it can happen that when, when he's wide, open like this, I just jump over. Okay, I don't put, if he has uh, his knee wide, or you can do this one, okay? If he, if he doesn't let you put those knees together. Okay, and from here, you pass him nicely, okay? Peter, when you're at top, you get the knees, are you pushing them together, or are you just pushing down? Mm. Yeah, depending, yeah. I try to push it together. Yeah, but right now, let's say, like right here, so now I take advantage of, they are together already. And I just come. So mostly I'm trying to push it together and see what reaction because they will do, they will somehow, they will almost never get like this. Right. If, yeah, so like this already, I, I'm getting feeling, see this knee is too close, I can pass that one. But like this, this one is too far. How am I gonna go around? Sometimes I jump over, but you have to have those knee control. 
So those knee are not you know, holding it here, trying here. This is so I can feel anything. Even he move his leg, I can feel where he's going, what he's doing. So from here I feel so good. So I let us go that way. And you, you also controlling his body because some, when he's trying to flip, they go on his belly. I have kind of control. It's good to strong play and he, he turn too quick. It's over. No, but that's why you have to start your transition first. Because they don't feel that you are. Looks like somebody's nail. Uh, kid, uh, okay. They, they feel I'm too far. Okay, they feel like from here, you can, it's hard to attack, right? But it's like when I spread, it's very quick movement. So let's spread out and let's try it. So you're mostly putting weight on the legs, the shoulders, the stomach, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. I, I'm putting, of course, yeah, because that's how we control it. Because I push it down. I push it down. Because if, we, if I keep it up, there is no control. See? Yeah. I have to. Yeah, that, that's, that's good. Uh, because I, I'm, I'm doing it natural, so I don't think too much about it. So I, I push it down. So when I drive, still I have pressure. So when I do pressure, his leg cannot move, right? Because I'm pushing it down. So that's why. All right. Peter, if you're all the way in already, would you try to do this? Huh? Pull them in, pull them in between your legs. If you're already in, would you try this technique from there? Or no? no, doesn't make sense. You cannot get, you cannot get in. If you are too in, I go this, see? From here I start my attack. Now with my legs down, you down, have to back out. Check it out. Now when I know, I go in. But first you have to back out. Yeah. Like I said, if he, if, he, if, he, if he has his legs only here, like close here, that's okay. But if it's here, nah, no good. From here, I don't start my fight because it's just waste of power. And if you don't make it, you stand up and they kill you. <laughs> they kill me, that's in condition. So that's why I don't start to the time from there, you know? If you are in good condition, you can start. This is, in Judo, not much you can do from this position. Not much, almost nothing. How about the leg? They don't let you, they don't let you, basically. You can, they don't let you, huh? The leg trap is the only one you can keep in there, right? Trapping the leg, pushed out. When you, when you have one leg trap, get my one leg only. Okay, from here, if the referee see making progress, you do something. They let you. Sometimes not even that. Okay, Barry. Who did that turn over you? The flip? Yeah, yeah. But they, they stop right they away. They stop you? They stop right away. Give oh, a yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Give your mate right uh, away. They, they have no idea. But the thing is, even the referee see slow, slow progress, they just, they just kill it a lot of times. So that's why most of them have good player. And if you turn your leg, uh, just grab my body around. That's it. And you do like this. Hard. I need space to get this leg out. I need space between our bodies. Okay. I need to keep it close. Oh, good. So that's why also you guys remember. When you have somebody's leg, keep it close. That's it. It's close. Right? Two seconds. The referee see you're not doing anything. They let you go. So that's why you cannot get the situation too close. When I get here, right away. You have to. I'm pushing. I'm going away. That's what I do. When I get from this side, I'm going away. I'm hoping because as much space here, I'm just hoping when that second when I pull this out, he will he will try to escape or uh, push it, come close to me, like something, and I, I get him. You know what I mean? I risk that thing. If we are far away from us, fine. Fine, close. So close. Then, yeah, I, I I'm hoping I overpower him that second because I'm ready. He's still in bad position, so that's why. I just go all the way away from this guy and hoping that I can be better that second when he let my leg out. 
Okay, let's go. Let's try. Let's let out and uh, work on it a little bit. Okay.